Copper Baron material, otherwise known as CBM, is an item that may pop up in your scrapyard receipt after you go to the yard. You might walk away and say, what are these three letters, CBM, and why is the item so cheap? So copper bearing material is something that we get at our scrapyard in New Jersey all the time. And what it is, is it's material that has copper on it, but it's also going to be mixed with two or more other metals. So let me show you a couple of examples and then we'll start to go into why they classify things as CBM. So here in front of me, we have a, an electronic, right? I'm not sure what, if it, what it's out of, but let me show you what I see right off the bat. I see aluminum on the outside here. Inside this is a small electric motor, so that's copper. This outside piece is steel. On here we have little pieces of gold, little pieces of solder, you have copper wire, you have plastic, you have a circuit board that's, con that's containing copper. But what this is not is something that's easy to recycle. Now if you have something like this, a clean piece of bronze and you're able to sell this to a secondary smelter that's going to make it into ingots and be able to separate the materials inside. This is an easy product to sell. One type of material opposed to three or four. When you have an item like this, CBM, who wants it? A copper guy doesn't want it. A steel guy doesn't want it. An aluminum guy doesn't want it. And a gold guy definitely doesn't want it because there's barely any precious metals on here. Now, CBM can be used in all types of items. Here's a power strip, for example. This is the power strip that came from the scrap, you know, from scrap pile. The customer cut the wire off, but he sold us the rest of this as is. Now, in here you have a piece of plastic. You have small remnants of steel. You have, excuse me, of copper. You have steel screws. And then inside each of these sockets, you have little pieces of brass. Again, who is gonna want an item like this? And that's why it goes into the CBM category. It's kind of like making a chili. When you have all types of leftovers and all types of things and you don't know what to do with them, what do you do? You throw it into one pot, you mix it together with some spaghetti sauce and some beans, and bang, you have a chili. That's kind of how CBM or copper bearing material is because there's not a good answer on where it goes. Does it go to a shredder that separates it? Does it go to a copper recycler? You know, when I sell material directly to a copper mill, they would never want any of these items. You know, you look at this. You had a piece that had steel on the inside, paper, copper, and then tape on the outside along with some cardboard. Again, who's going to want something that has a lot of garbage but still has valuable material? Now, items like this, items that you see in front of you, this type of CBM, these are items that get sent overseas. Why? Cheaper labor, so they may take them apart. They have different sorting and separating processes. There are ways to get the metals out. If you have a shredder that only shreds CBM, then you can put it through, make it into small pieces, easily get the steel out by using a magnet, and then you can start to use air flows to separate the copper, the aluminums, the brasses, the plastics, the residue, the garbage. But when you see CBM on your weight ticket, it's probably because you had a mixture of everything and the scrapyard doesn't make much money on it. Personally, we make maybe three to five cents per pound on CBM items, which is only covering our labor, and that's why we promote so heavily to sort and separate your materials. So in the future, if you have items like this what should you do if you want to make more money you should take this apart and separate it if you're not going to take the, the four motors out the aluminum cases off the copper that's located on this board the steel that's all over this then don't be surprised when you get a low price some people may say well I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw all this stuff in the steel bin I wouldn't do that either when you throw a lot of non steel into a steel bin you might get claimed on that. What might happen? They might tell you that the load is no value because the material that's inside costs them money to separate or it's too much garbage because ultimately all of these things have to be recycled at some point. And if a steel recycler doesn't have a strong market for CBM and doesn't want to have a lot of garbage mixed with their steel, what are they going to do? They're going to reject that load. So when you have CBM, copper bearing material, a lot of mixed type of metals, really look into them, ask your scrapyard how you can sort and separate them best, and that's how you're going to make the most money and get the most bang for your buck.